Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Um, I'm awfully sorry. I must I must start out from saying a big apology to all the people that have been subscribed to me. I haven't been able to do anything for a couple of months as, as it is. Um, I've had a really bad hill health. I uh, think a few things changed, uh, but I'm back now. Um, and basically, I just wanted to start off and say, you know, apologise and thank you for staying with me. Um, the reason I'm on today, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm going to start doing a diorama. Um, basically, it's going to be a, quite a large one for, for me. Um, I just I'll, basically, I'll, I really want to get these two, these two kits, actually uh, incorporated into the diorama. Maybe a couple of vehicles, because I really, I really wanted to be do it like for, for such a long time, and one of these combined. So I thought I'll give it a go. I'll um I'll try and do, do it like like through YouTube and do it in stages so you can understand and see what I I've actually been doing or trying to do. <laughs> um, so I'll give you a little I've drawn I've drawn a little picture and I'll give you a little idea of what I'm thinking about. So hang on, here we go. Right, basically it's going to be like maybe two foot by say eighteen inches somewhere. Dish, dish. I wanted a shop here in this corner. I'm not too sure whether I want a shop or a couple of houses. I'm not too sure. Cobblestone road, obviously sidewalks, some lampposts, some drains and gutters and such on the houses. Uh, then it comes over to a key wall with steps going down to a pavement. I know this is, I'm not really an artist, so you know, bear with me. Um, basically that comes down to the canal and um, obviously we'll have a canal so that's general the general idea of what I want to try and do uh, I've already started on one of the actual um, corner yeah, in actual fact this corner shop but I did I've only felt this is the first time I've filmed so I'm you know I apologize again so I'll just give it a little look at it and see how far I've got um, this is this is how far I've got this that's just the support there so don't worry about that um, this is how far I've actually got on the shop. Uh, the door is going to be set back here, uh, going at an angle like that, and we we'll have two shop windows. And I'm not too sure whether to, to do it as a shop or to do it as a cafe. It's going to be based in Germany, obviously. Um, it's going to have a roof that comes up that way and this way to a point here, apexed. Uh, basically, that's all I can say about this. Um, the brickwork in that is is called is is been moulded from a kit called uh, from Diorama Debris. It's actually um, this is called the English Bond. It's a lovely kit, but these were donated to me by Simon Kemp from Simon Kemp Models uh, One Thirty Five Diorama Builds. He's got a YouTube channel and he's also got a Facebook channel. Now I I recommend that you check this guy out. This guy is the the guru of making buildings there's a few of the guys i'd like to mention a little bit further on into the build of this video um but you know i recommend that you check simon kemp out simon kemp's models he is amazing when it comes to these type of he's done loads at barn big barns big houses double houses the street effect was house and ones check him out you really enjoy it Anyway, as far as I've got now, it's it's about the sills. These sills come with in the kit. You get a window frame and a kit. You'll also get a door frame, but obviously I'm not using that. Um, it's 135 scale. I'm just in the process of, of working out which way I'm going to do the actual window and glaze it. I'm thinking of frosted glass for the for the glazing of the, the door and the windows. And try. I was thinking of putting maybe a sign on the or actually on the glass. But you know that's still up in here at the moment. So basically, I'm just done this to see um, what it's going to look like in a sense when it's completed. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video. And like I say, I hope you stay tuned. And if you like this, subscribe. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. It'd be appreciated. Thanks a lot. And I'll catch you in the next video. Hi guys. I just thought I'd give you a quick update on what I'm up to on the uh, diorama. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. As you know, everyone makes a mess when you're creating, should we say. Uh, anyway, there we go. This is what I've got so far. Um, 
There's still lots of more to do on the windows and uh, the doorway. So, as I say, that's as far as I've got. Um, quite easy. Like, it looks complicated, but it's not quite easy to do. Basically, I bought some of this stuff from uh, B&Q. It's like a, an edging trim or something. Um, and I found a piece of wood like that. And what I did, I slid it in till it, it, it got jammed in and just glued it on both ends. And as you can see, makes a nice little column. Uh, the next stage I'm actually going to do on this, uh, I'm waiting for the, the frosted glass to come through, the, obviously for the windows. I'm actually going to make a start on the roof. Um, I've actually, this is what I'm actually going to try and do. It's either going to be something like this. But I'm also playing with the idea in my mind of doing something like this with an added window, just to give a little bit more detail and uh, you know a bit more of a feature. And obviously, I'm going to be doing gutters and all that. This is going to be done with like a lead trim. I was going to put corner um, ridge tiles on it, but I thought the ridge tiles a bit looked a bit odd. So what I'm actually going to do is going to use tin foil and actually bend it over over a piece of dowel. It's going to reach down and along here. Bend it over, smooth it in, cut it into pieces, uh, and obviously paint it grey, make it look like lead. So that's that's my idea for the roof, either this one or this one. So that's where we're up to at the moment. So I hope you can join me again, and I will give you an update as soon as I can. Thanks a lot for joining.